Hello everyone, this is Ken. Today we're going to build a 3D printed Digger 2.0. You can find the Digger 2.0 model in Thingiverse. And what I really like about this model is how it's made of all 3D printed parts. And you can snap them together to make a complete freely movable 3D model. Generally, it's good practice to run your 3D models through software like 3D Builder software for Windows 10 and check whether there are any errors in your 3D model. If you don't have a Windows 10 machine, Autodesk Mesh Mixer is a good alternative and it's a good thing that the Digger 2.0 models don't have any errors in them, so we can move on to slicing. I use an open source based printer, so I like to use Cura to slice my models. I generally make sure that I check the timing of the print for each model just so I can plan a schedule ahead of time to make sure that I print my model as fast as possible. Since we were going to paint over the model, I decided to go with white ABS for this build and the reason why you chose white is because you don't want the color of the plastic to clash too much and affect the tone of the color of the acrylic paint you plan to use when you are painting. Printing this model took slightly over 32 hours, so I had to spend a few days to get the print done for all the parts. But I think it turned out pretty great, except for maybe some of the small pegs that had the top of the pegs break off. In spite of this, I decided to just go ahead and build out the model. I was really wanting to get this model done after printing for so many days, so you know, why not try building it with one or two pegs less? So obviously, the model fell apart, and I had to go back to the peg STL file from the Digger files to get a few more pegs printed. The peg STL file has a few pegs all lined up into one file, so it's a good thing that 3D Builder had a plain cut tool to remove the other pegs that I didn't want to. You can actually do this with other software like Mesh Mixer, which I mentioned earlier in this video. After the pegs were printed, I built the model together a second time, and even though the pegs kind of broke in the first print, I noticed how well the pegs held the entire model together once you assembled it correctly. So it's quite amazing to see how these thin pieces of plastic can hold this model together so well. That being said, I still couldn't avoid using a little bit of acrylic glue to really make sure that the joints held together. I then set about painting it and I used some Martha Stewart craft paints that I found in a local art store, along with some old acrylic paint. Decided to print it red and black for this one, just to make it the same color scheme as the logo. And one thing you do realize for multi-part 3D models is you would want to paint the model before you assemble it, instead of struggling to take it apart again after building it, like what I'm doing here. There you go, the completed Digger 2.0 model. If you'd like to see more of such videos, please let us know in the comments. Or maybe you can even suggest how I could have done things a bit better, or you know, let me know how you think the thing was done, and maybe we can do it better in the next one. We'll be doing videos like this every week and you can subscribe to get the latest updates on our next build and it always helps to give us a thumbs up if you feel you want to show a bit of appreciation. So that's it for me Ken and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!